This video is a compilation of species and specimens that I found uh, out hiking the Appalachian Trail in part of Pennsylvania uh, while making the Find Any Herp video. Uh, if you did not see the Find Any Herp video yet, uh, I will put a link, uh, wait, nope, that way, up here. Um, follow that little arrow. Um, but anyway, um, let's just jump right into it. Thanks. And uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe. snake I almost didn't see him there we go easy bud I'm not trying to hurt you. I know you want to musk me. Come on. There you go. And there's the musk. Alright, go back on your way. I'll put your log back. Left. Oops. Hey buddy, stay with me. Eastern Newt in his terrestrial stage. Absolutely adorable. Very cute. This is a very small one, very young. And uh, they'll stay in this stage for quite a while where they go out on land and uh, do their thing for a little while before switching back to the adult stage, which is fully aquatic. This is an intermediate stage between the fully aquatic um, larva and the fully aquatic adult. I'll let him go on his way over here. Very common where I'm at, just walking along the trail. So we'll just put him right back here on the ground and let him do his thing. So I may be in salamander habitat here, uh, but I'm also in timber rattlesnake habitat here in northern Pennsylvania. So timber rattlesnakes love to ambush prey by lining up along the side of a log. In a log like this, it looks perfect for salamanders. I need to be pretty careful uh, rolling it over so I don't put my hands under it in the edges where I can't see. So I'm going to go ahead and flip this carefully towards me. And unfortunately, nothing under this one. So once again, when I'm flipping a log in timber for rattlesnake country, and I'm a snake country in general, I roll it towards me. Same with rocks. It gives me a shield if there's anybody underneath it. And uh, it's better than sticking my fingers blindly where I can't rest. So once again, nobody's home, but we'll keep on trying. Now, of course, I'm on a pretty famous trail, but for tracking purposes, Signs of human from way earlier times are always easy to find, even in remote areas. 
Here is a huge rock wall that doesn't look like much right here. It travels all the way up through the woods, way deep out that way. And from early days of our nation, and remember this is Pennsylvania, in the early days of our nation, the farmers, of course, would take rocks and create boundaries with them, and it would delineate their fields. And in addition to that, if it wasn't fields, they'd still take rocks and make these walls pretty rudimentary. I mean, it may be hard to recognize if you're not used to it, but they'd make these walls to delineate their property boundary. So somewhere near here is probably a very, very old homestead, even though by today's standards, we're very remote. As you can see, this log was rolled out of the spot. You can tell by the wet underside being exposed upwards and the patch without vegetation underneath where the log used to rest. This can be an indication of humans looking for reptiles and amphibians. In this case, it's more likely black bear activity as a forage for invertebrates to eat. Human trail. Game trail. There's another eastern newt, a little larger. Red eft. Here's another red eft, the F stage of the eastern. And uh, I swear I'm about to stop taking pictures and videos of these guys because I have straight up lost count how many I've seen. This is a lead phased redback. So obviously it doesn't have the red. Uh, but it is a redback salamander, just in the black phase or lead phase. The habitat here is textbook, wet hillside, on a slope, in the shade, textbook. Now, I don't know anything about fungus, except this one. Very pretty. Still pretty, however. You can see his black mask like a raccoon around the eye there. One of many northern slimy salamanders today. You can see he's hanging out next to the snail shell. Uh, I'm going to have to move him though to be able to put his rock back. Let me switch hands real quick. Move the snail shell and he'll probably follow. Alright buddy, you ready? There we go. Alright, he's clear. I still see his tail here. All right, here we go. This is a slimy salamander in textbook habitat. If I expose his head, he might uh, bail into deeper cover, but we'll try. Now, their defense mechanism 
is pretty cool. Uh, they secrete a glue, and that glue makes them very unpalatable. <laughs> Good buddy, come here. Okay, there we go. Stay right where you are. You're fine. There you go. Now, I'm not going to harass this little guy too much. Just want to show you. They're very pretty. Uh, large, well, medium sized salamander. Here's my hand for reference. And uh, they're common. You know, we talked about how to find their habitat as an example of targeting specific species. Well, here we go. We're in textbook habitat on a wet hillside under wet wood. Everything's textbook right here in the area we identified. So we'll put this log.